Right now we're here in Washington DC uh, showing you what the real situation is here for inauguration and as we speak the uh, inauguration of Joe Biden is about to start and we're gonna see uh, what happens. There's 30,000 troops here, thousands of police, 2% uh, of the United States military is deployed in our capital. And we're gonna see what happens uh, in for this inauguration, at least on the outskirts, uh, because uh, uh, the majority of journalists and civilians aren't allowed anywhere near the inauguration. So we're on the edge of Capitol Hill, the cordoned off zone, which is, which is heavily guarded by police and uh, soldiers every 10 feet. Uh, so we're going to stand by, see what happens during the inauguration and in the following time, bring you all of the facts as we get them. So please like this video, subscribe, share it across all social media, and help support my work in uh, Patreon or one of the links in the description. Thank you. Let's see what happens. I am, I am praying for our country. Um, when Why I, are you crying? When I, when I pray for our country, I carry the Constitution. The reason I carry the Constitution is because we need that. We need. Why are you crying? Are you okay? Like, what's, why are you so emotional? I'm emotional because our country needs to uh, come back to the basics. We need to come back to our foundation of the U.S. Constitution in our government. Can you explain to us what the U.S. Constitution is? Like, what the fuck is it? And, <laughs> and I need, we need to get back to the other basics of the Bible, which I also carry along with the Constitution. But let's say we say, fuck Jesus. Is that okay? Okay. So I just wanted to tell you that I truly believe that if we, we as U.S. citizens would come back to the basics of the Constitution in our government and back to the basics of the Bible. Why and Constitution and why the Bible at the same time? Then What's we up? would definitely have more peace. Why not the we three musketeers? Why, why I gotta read the Bible? Why, do I, why can't I read like, um? why can't I read like the, the grapes of wrath? Why can't I read Tale of Two Cities? What's going on? This is, this is my belief, and so I'm sharing this right now. Okay. So I would appreciate it if I could just have the time. Okay, I'm, I'm giving you a platform. Do you know how many followers I have? That's awesome. Okay, what's your name? My name is Edwina Rose. Edwina, are you famous? No. Okay, are you a Christian? I am. Are you a Bible thumping Christian? You seem like a Bible thumping Christian. I love my Bible. Okay. But let me tell you this. Um, I was telling uh, somebody a, a minute ago, there was a young boy that came up to me and You said, like what I'm wearing? He said, are you a Trump fan? And I said, I'm an America fan. I'd like to see America get back to more kindness and more... Am I being kind to you? And more Ain't nobody more un-American than Trump. I'd like... I, he from my neighborhood back in I'm Queens. Sorry, he used to extort that dude. Oh, Stay here phony. With, with getting back to the Constitution and the Bible, Am I, dressed like I truly believe that it would be... Can I come to your church dressed like this? Better for our country. Thank you. I appreciate it. Trump Edwina, some gay answer shit my too. question. Can it's I come gay. to your church dressed like this? Like I told some of the other... Do you have a slur? I'm not answering questions. I'm not getting into political types of discussions. Do you want to hold some strength? But thank you. What you think about the outcome of the election? Um, like the election or inauguration? Both. Both. I think it was a successful, successful inauguration today. Um, I was definitely scared something was going to happen, but with all the National Guard, all the security, and everything, I think they made it as safe as possible, as secure as possible. And for the election, obviously, um, I think the right candidate pulled through. Um, I think our country is going to be more new, more united soon, um, hopefully less hate and everything, and we'll be able to move forward. And what do you think about the fact that uh, Trump uh, kept pushing that the election was uh, rigged or something like this? I think um, he said it back in 2016. He said if Hillary won that he wasn't going to accept it, whatever. Like he, He's been pushing this forever. I think that 
if the election had gone either way any year, he was always going to do this. He always, he, di he didn't get his way, and so he's a crybaby. He tried to incite an insurrection. I, I don't know. I just think that it's childish. I think it's petty. I'm not going to the inauguration today on top of everything. I just think that it's not very presidential of him. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. We don't. <laughs> That's, that's hilarious. Like, literally. Did they just come out of there? The car? <laughs> So the inauguration has been uh, complete and uh, Joe Biden is the president of the United States of America right now. Uh, and uh, here we have uh, still some uh, people around the uh, outskirts of Capitol Hill, which you can see here uh, guarded by a first line of police and then behind more uh, soldiers who are lining the entire perimeter of uh, Capitol Hill. Uh, people were not allowed in to uh, voice their opinions near the inauguration. Uh, it, it really, it, it, it's a point of uh, uh, freedom of speech being uh, withheld uh, here today. How can this inauguration happen and people have not been given the right to uh, demonstrate uh, peacefully uh, on Capitol Hill? Yes, a week ago, or a bit over a week ago, they, it wasn't so peaceful, uh, so they had to make sure that didn't happen again. But uh, there was no uh, way for the uh, people to uh, protest uh, peacefully this time on uh, Capitol Hill. Um, so we're going to continue to go around and see uh, the aftermath and wh what's going on uh, here around Capitol Hill, uh, around the perimeter. But for now, uh, you've seen a bit of what the situation is like uh, during the, and before the inauguration. So we're going to move on to the next stories. Uh, there's so much more to come. So make sure you uh, like this video, share it across all social media. And again, remember, I'm a totally independent, crowdfunded uh, journalist. So please. Please support my work. Uh, there's a, uh, a link in the description uh, where you can uh, donate, you know, a set amount, or a link on the screen where you can be a Patreon. And it just it just takes three dollars per report that I do to make a big difference. Uh, so click on that Patreon link and uh, make a donation. It'll really help. Thank you. <laughs> 